I'm Ryan and my life is average. Now, I know you're probably thinking, you're probably looking at the title and the thumbnail of this video you're like, oh God, Ryan's doing some dumb clickbait stuff. Okay, he's just going crazy right now, uh, but that is not the case. Um, so I want to make a video just to kind of discuss and to vent because that's this is where I turn to talk. It sounds weird, but I usually turn to you guys and this camera um, because last night uh, I was coming home driving home after binge watching Stranger Things with my friend. By the way, fabulous series, my God. I know I'm late on it, but wow, fantastic series. And I was driving home and it was about midnight or so. Um, and I was driving on a road called Route 55. It is a very dark highway, speed limit 65 miles an hour, not a lot of lights, just your headlights. And you know, and I was on cruise control going 70 to 65 and you know, I was listening to my podcast I had on, I had the heat on, like I was feeling good. I was just kind of in a nice, relaxed, calm, chill mood driving home for a quick 30 minute drive. And I, I looked to the left because um, a guy that was going the other way on the road, on the other side of the highway, had like these blue, like looking crazy, like alien looking lights. Kind of distracted me for a second. So I looked left, I was in the middle lane and I looked back and I just see a giant deer. And I've never had that moment before. I've never been in a car accident or a bad car accident. And I, you know, it was so terrifying. And, you know, going 70 miles an hour when you hit anything is bad, let alone a very muscular big deer. And last second, you know, when I look back, I, I hit the brakes lightly so I didn't skid. And I swung my car um, over to the left, into the left lane and the deer smashed into my passenger side which you can see in these photos right now so as you can see it just destroyed my front end of my car and basically my whole car I mean, my car is total at this point and it was insane i was by myself and i got out and i was fine like not a scratch and that's crazy you know um to be going that fast and to hit something and to not have any injuries is remarkable after i got out i was obviously in shock and freaked out and you know my car was destroyed and my, i still thought maybe i was hurt and p cars were kind of whizzing by because it was around like a little bit of a turn and I was thinking, oh my God, another car is going to hit my car and they're going to get hurt. And it was a very terrifying, scary five minutes in a dark highway by myself. And then finally someone stopped, called the police and because um, I was discombobulated. I, I, you know, I'm sure those of you that have been in an accident, you just don't really know what's going on. You're freaked out. It was freezing. And I walked away. And I walked away fine. And, you know, the last like 24 hours or so, I kind of was doing like a why me thing because I, a lot of you guys don't realize, but lately I've been having a lot of health issues and I don't have health insurance. And it's been feeling like things are just crumbling and, and all medication is expensive and there's been uh, depression uh, side effects from the medication I'm on and I, 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 there are days where I just sit around and I do nothing and I don't feel like myself and I feel like a crazy person and I feel like I'm not myself like I said and you know I just things little things keep going wrong and then that happened last night and you know then I'm sitting here going you know like shit man like I didn't even pay off the car and the money I'm gonna get from the insurance is barely gonna cover the the loan that I have to pay off and I, what am I gonna do for a car I don't have any money saved up because it went to my medical bills and I started having this big why me oh boo hoo kit thing and then earlier I just sat on my bed and just kept kind of replaying that moment and you might think that it's cheesy or something oh it's just a deer but like I said People die from stuff like that. People break bones and they get very, very hurt. And I have legitimately not a mark on my body. And my airbags deployed, everything deployed. And I was, I don't know. It's just even the cop who stopped was like, I don't know how you're okay. I don't know how you're fine. A large deer at that speed does not usually end well for the passenger. I mean, for the driver. 
Also, no one was in my passenger, no one was with me, like, it could have been so much worse, and I just kind of realized today, like, you know, even though that happened, and it was bad, and it's going to mess things up financially, and it's going to stress me out, and it's going to be a burden, I am alive. I could have died last night, and once again, probably sounds cheesy, but I absolutely could have died last night. If I didn't veer over to the left last second, and that deer hit me head on, I don't know what would have happened. I don't know. Because luckily my side of the car was not as damaged as that right side that was really messed up. And I just, even amidst everything that's been going on in my life that's been negative and I've been depressed, which I never ever am depressed because of this fucking medication and I feel crazy after all these things that have been going wrong last night should have been something that made me just lose my mind and hate everything and... But I'm, I'm standing here like just super blessed and happy that I'm here. And, you know, sometimes you have to look at the, the good with the bad. And the bad is I got in a bad car accident and my car is gone. But I'm okay. And I think that's super important for a lot of you guys watching. I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. I know a lot of us don't like who the president is going to be. Okay? I know we didn't like the way that the election turned out. I know people are scared. I know people are hurt. Their health is messed up. There's so many things going wrong. But you know what? If you're watching this, you are alive. I am alive. And we are still here. And that is insane. And sometimes it takes a dramatic event like that for you to think and really think about life. Like if I died last night or I got paralyzed or I broke my neck or something, there's so much that I want to do still. And it put things in perspective for me and my life, and what I complain about, and the small things that affect me compared to other people. And I just wanted to make this video to show you guys as well, like, man, sometimes the worst things in our lives, they, they show us something, it's a test. I feel like at this point, it's like, okay, I've gone through some shit in my life, as you guys know, but so have you. And I'm not special. My, my situation is not any crazier than anybody else's in the world. We just gotta get through it. And, we're all going to get through it. And financially, yeah, things are messed up, but I'm not. And that's important. And I know this might sound stupid and it's weird, but with the day that my mom passed away, I put her funeral card into my wallet. And I always felt like I I always felt like that was a weird protector of me, you know? I know some people say, oh, someone was watching over you, and everybody kept saying, you know, somebody was watching over you, whether it was God or whether it was this or that, whoever, whatever you believe in, something protected you that night. And what is weird about that is that day, I was cleaning my room, I was cleaning everything, I was reorganizing everything, and I had my wallet, this wallet, on top of my counter, and it fell. And right when I was about to go to my friend's house, a couple things fell out, and one of them was my mom's funeral card. And I didn't notice it, because I just picked up my wallet, and then I went to leave and I turned back. For some reason, I just looked and I saw the, the card on the ground, which I never usually do, I usually just leave. But I, for some reason, I looked in my room. I said, oh, oh my gosh, so I put it back in my wallet. And you know, whether you believe in stuff like that or not, this crumbled up old piece of cardboard for me personally, just for me, I feel like helped save my life. I feel like that little piece of me, whatever that is with my mom, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it. I don't care if you think I'm crazy or not because I think I'm crazy sometimes, but something weird happened and I'm okay. And I'm so happy I'm okay and I'm happy I can make this video um, and I'm happy 15,000 of you will watch this because my channel is dead. I'm not happy about that, but I'm happy that you are watching. I'm just happy to be alive. And just put things in perspective for me. And you're going to go through things in your life that are going to put things in perspective to you. And at the time they're going to be awful. And you're going to say, why me? Why do I deserve this? Why am I having so many bad breaks? But at the end of the day, you're going to be able to say things. You're going to have to speak. You're going to be able to... You're about to type. You're, be, you're going to be able to complain because you are alive. And there are so many people that wish that their friends, their family 
would be alive, but they never made it. So, I just wanted to say that I love you guys. I'm still here. Um, it's definitely been a long 24 hours. Emotionally, I've been just thinking about it a lot and replaying that moment in my head and what ifs and all these things. But you know what? I'm okay and I'm here and I'm thankful that I'm here. And like I said, I love you guys and I appreciate you guys supporting me. And people are on Twitter saying, start a GoFundMe. We're, we're going to raise money so you can get a car. And it's like, stuff like that is so humbling. And you guys know I don't like handouts and things. It's just the fact that people even say stuff like that. Um, it gets me emotional and it makes me feel so happy that people have my back. And, you know, I don't know what's up yet with my insurance. And that's something I'll cross when it happens. But the, the main, main part of this is I'm okay. And I'm going to be fine. And um, that's important. That's what the most important thing is. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You can like this video if you want. And if you want to comment down below if you've been in a situation like that that really opened your eyes. Whether it was a death of somebody or an accident or something that happened that made you go, wow. I'd like to read some of your comments and see if maybe we had similar in, in, in circumstances. Or did you feel like you had a guardian angel? Did you feel like something was with you? that at that moment and like i said some people may call me crazy or something but that's okay i could care less that's something that i carry with me and makes me feel better about myself so that's it um thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it and i'll see you guys right here next week sometimes it's been sunday sometimes it's been friday you get videos and that's what's that's what's important and you're gonna get more whether you like it or not i'm still here you can't get me yet See you guys next time. And hey, stay average.